Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft PowerPoint. In this module, I want to show you how you can set up a presentation to run automatically on a loop. Something you might want to do if you are at an exhibition and you've got a stand where you've got your information playing in the background, constantly going around and around. Same if it's a reception area, you might want to do it in there as well. So first of all, what you need before you can set it in a loop is some timings. And there's two main ways that you can get timings. If I go to the transitions tab at the top here, on the right, you've got on mouse click or after a time. So if I click, for example, two seconds and apply that to all, when I go into slide sort of view, you'll see that two seconds on each slide. Now that is just a, an arbitrary amount of time not really accurate and if it's a lot if there's a lot of information on the slide it's going to be too quick but i'll just show you how you set it up anyhow so slideshow set up slideshow and in there you've got loop until you press escape and use timings if present so if i click ok to that and then put this into full screen this is just going to play after two seconds and then just go keep going round and round fairly quickly look on those timings and it'll start again and for me to stop this presentation I need to press escape so it's come back to the beginning press escape down we go that's the first way the second more accurate way I think is to actually rehearse the timings and work out exactly how long it takes somebody to read this information if it's that type of presentation so if I go back to transition, put that on, back onto a mouse click, so it's taken those off. That's how you get them off. You don't need to put that back to zero as long as it's on mouse click. Now back to slideshow, rehearse timings. So what's going to happen now, it's going to wait for me. This little box at the top is clocking over. As I press enter, it's I'm going through the presentation, talking it through, and press and enter as each thing comes up, new slide. And then at the end, it will give me an overall time for each slide. Total time was 11 seconds, yes. Now you get the different times on each slide. Now the mistake I made there was I left that on loop. So it went round again. That's why it did a different time for that. So basically you don't want it on loop when you're doing that. But now I've got a more accurate time. And I can go back into setup slideshow loop. OK. And then if I put that into full screen. It's going to go on those timings. Which is a little bit slower than the two seconds. So that's me pressing enter and reading out things as well. And I'll just press escape at that point to come back. And then to clear it all off, you just basically go into Setup Slideshow, take that loop off, OK, go back to Transitions, because if I click on this slide, it's saying 542, 468, and 123. That's the actual time. So if I take that off and apply it to all, it clears those times off and we're back to square one where we started from. So that's just a very quick video of how you can set up an automatic presentation to run in a loop based on timings that you've either recorded or that you've manually set through the transition feature. So hopefully that video was of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you on the next one.